If we could travel inside our body, shrinking down to a cellular level, we could see how amazing our immune system really is. It identifies and destroys disease-causing and foreign agents, working through two major components, the innate and adaptive responses. Innate responses are the first line of defense. Cells called phagocytes chew up invading organisms regardless of who they are. It's rapid and essential, but rather crude. The adaptive immune response is delayed, but much cleverer. With an almost endless capacity to remember old foes, specialized cells recognize individual threats and zap them. White blood cells, or lymphocytes, are the mainstays of this adaptive system. They come in B and T versions. Developing in the bone marrow and thymus, they move to the spleen and lymph nodes looking for trouble. Through the blood and lymphatic system, they can move around our bodies. After they first encounter a threat, such as a virus, B cells can either become mini antibody factories called plasma cells, producing the stuff that fights the intruder, or they can become the memory B cells which recall and respond if it reappears. T cells can be of the helper or killer kind. Helper ones provide signals guiding the way for both B cells and other T cells, while the killer ones, once activated, destroy infected or cancerous cells. Along the way, long-lived memory T cells of both sorts are produced so they can mount a strong response against the aliens later. The immune system needs precise control mechanisms to activate it, but also to keep it in check. A failure to maintain this balance can result in diseases caused by an aggravated immune response, like type 1 diabetes. Researchers are trying to understand how some cancer cells cleverly confuse the immune system and switch it off, allowing the cancer to grow. They are developing new medicines to tackle this, reversing the switch so that the immune system can kill the tumor. Like the most thrilling computer game ever, our immune system protects us from peril, keeping us alive and healthy. For more fascinating science, visit our website, subscribe to our channel, and like us on social media.